You! I'm here for you! <laughs> What's up, guys? Do you remember me? I'm the guy that invented Fool's Blade. Fool's Blade, that's that game that I it made. This one, that one, that one back there. And I'm here just with a quick update for Fool's Blade because I haven't spoken about it in a little bit, and I know that can kind of seem like, what the heck? Where'd he go? Has he forgotten about us? And that is so overwhelmingly not the case with the nature of these things is just... I'm working on it in the background. Things are being figured out, but I'm constantly working on this. It's always on my mind. I assure you, I promise you, Fool's Blade is still my top priority and my top passion and everything else. I love this dang thing, and I am working every day to make sure it is the best thing that's going to land in your guys' hands. So I'm here just with a quick update. I want to talk about a few things. So first of all, what the heck? Why isn't it in my hands and I am questing and building swords is probably what you're wondering. Well, to start, it's pretty simple. It's just this sword box, which by the way, look how gorgeous this thing is. Can you focus camera? Thank you. Jesus. We have it in such a good place now that I am just so genuinely proud of this oh oh the secret drawer oh the secret you want to see the secret drawer oh oh what's that oh what's that a secret compartment oh no oh put that thing away put that jeez i am so happy with this box i i love it more than anything this is like an actual dream come true but getting there getting to making that sword box was complicated uh it turns out making uh, a type of box that no one has made uh ever is pretty challenging and sample after sample after sample things were just slightly a little weird or a little wonky and me being a perfectionist wanted to make sure that the sample that i received was perfect and what what goes out the door is perfect i want to make sure that you guys love what you receive okay so i'm having my my fingers and my eyes on every single thing that goes through and that set us back a little bit so we had some small issues there but since then we have completely switched gears to a different manufacturer that actually makes gloomhaven which everyone knows gloomhaven everyone loves gloomhaven it's one of the most fun well-made games on the planet and when we started getting this high quality stuff from them and this opportunity popped up we i mean we felt so lucky so i felt so lucky it's incredible what they've been able to do it has blown us away with how high quality it is but with how good it is and us shifting these gears a little bit it is pushing back that shipping date a little bit which i know i know it's a whole kickstarter meme that no one lands their landing date and now i see why i thought i'd be the one to feed it but so we're now looking at June and July to get it in your hand so you can play it and enjoy it and go on quest with your friends and absolutely make those around you angry that you've probably stolen a lot of loot from them. It's annoying, I get that, but it seems to be the nature of these things. This is my first rodeo with this sort of stuff and I really want to make sure the quality of this stuff is just going to blow you away and not only meets your expectations but explodes them out of the water. That is my goal here. So don't think just because I haven't had an update every two milliseconds that I've forgotten or that pushing this date isn't like a non-consequential thing for me because it is. And I really want to make sure that this is something that you're proud to own and that I am proud to make. That is my number one priority here. Now, I got some awesome news too. So we promised before that with the upgrades and the stretch goals that we hit on Kickstarter that the dice wouldn't just be some simple like single color dice that you just get anywhere else that they'd look cool and they'd be swirly and they'd have a custom sigil on the d20 well i'm happy to say that oh we weren't able to make the sigil just for the d20 we put a custom sigil on every single dice so all six dice that you're actually going to receive with fool's blade their highest number for each one has the custom sigil that i designed which is i am so happy that not only you're getting one custom dice you're now getting six and i think that is so fun so now just when you're rolling these card mechanics or your sword mechanics and you have these dice rolls baked into them when you land that high number and you see that sigil pop up you're like yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the cards are also looking outstanding i am so happy with how high quality they are check these out check them out this is the goblin boss trio look at this look at this check out the card backs hold up oh oh look how good that looks look at this boy look at this get it get a deeper look at that oh oh i'm so happy with this they are just they are gorgeous i am so happy with them i cannot wait for you to play fool's blade uh and i hope this update finds you well i hope 
Traveler, I hope it finds you well, Traveler. What am I saying? What am I, an NPC now? What am I, an Oblivion NPC? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your patience. It seriously means the world to me. This is my first step into game development, and I've learned quite a lot from the design space to the manufacturing to the logistics. It's a complicated puzzle, but I've got all the pieces now. Fool's Blade is outstanding. The quality we are now seeing is unbelievably high and i'm so happy the dice is getting a big upgrade and we're having all these pieces made by those that really understand gameplay games and the quality that people want to like hold in their hands and working with the guys that make all the pieces and make gloomhaven is seriously so exciting that is so awesome and when the opportunity popped up and the dates got pushed back a little bit it was kind of like a ping pong battle in my mind i was like oh it's it's really amazing because the quality is going to blow everyone away, but it is going to scooch back the date. So yeah, it's just, you know, general Kickstarter updatiness. Dates get slightly scooched. And I know the average for Kickstarter is like two years or whatever. I'm obviously being sarcastic, but you know, Kickstarters get pushed and pushed and pushed. And I understand that people kind of come to kind of expect that with Kickstarter, but I want to be the one to beat it. So having it scooched a few months is a little bit for me but i promise the quality is going to match and when you receive this i couldn't be happier with the final product so thank you guys so much i am so happy with how this turned out thank you for being here on the journey and i'm excited to show you guys more in the very near future stay well stay hydrated eat a sandwich